Hey everybody, what's up? It's Isla Bananas here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. So what you want to do is, um, you want to, uh, let's see, okay, so what you, first what you want to do, you want to open up Firefox, uh, not Firefox, you know, whatever internet you have. This is only for, this is a Windows tutorial, so I'm really sorry if you have a Mac, but I cannot help you there, because um, I don't have one of them, so, okay, well, Okay, open up your internet browser. Actually, well, you can have it open and have it ready. You want to go into command prompt. Just type in CMD, go into command prompt, okay? You want to type in ipconfig. And then um, you're going to get these right here. And what you want to do, okay, see, there's something that says default gateway. You want to get that first. You leave this open because you're going to need it for later. So you're going to want to type in your default gateway, 192.168.1.1. .1. All right, and then you press OK. Well, you got to... Um, your password will, well, you have to get like, your password, your username from your router's manual, uh, you know, and, uh, like unless you changed it and stuff, so yeah. And um, another thing is, sometimes your IP will change if you have that setting on, so uh, you might need to port forward again if that happens. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to hit add custom service, alright? Open this command prompt back up. Look for the IP, IPv4 address, that is 192.168.1.8 for me. But it's going to be different for you. It's going to be way different for you, okay? So you're going to want to type in the last digit, well, if that's for your router. Um, well, the, you want to go under like port forwarding slash port triggering. Um, and do port forwarding because, uh, oh, I mean, like uh, there's going to, but some routers like there's going to be applications and games, and you're going to have to add like uh, internet or something. So you might have to do that for it. So uh, yeah, just um, remember that. Um, cause, uh, I'm do I have a Necker router, so what you want to do is type in, uh, starting port 25565, and then ending port 25565, and then what you want to do is, uh, type service name, just type, what name whatever you want, uh, Minecraft server is what I'll name it, Minecraft server. Um, I can't apply this because, um, I have a, another computer that already has this port open, so I can't do that for this, um. But uh, yeah, you can only have this, like you can only have a Minecraft server running on one computer at once that's on your network, so that's why it's not working here. So you want to make this, make sure this is TCP slash UDP and uh, you're good to go. And then your ser your uh, port will be forwarded. So now what you want to do is you want to go, uh, um, you want to go to Minecraft.net, let's see, Minecraft.net. And then you want to go to um, play Minecraft. You want to look right here. You want to press download. All right. Uh, you want to press download. You want to look right here where it says multiplayer server. You want to um, do this where it says you're running on Windows and you just want to set up the server easily. Download this. All right. So download this Minecraft server.exe. And what you want to do is you want to save that to your desktop. All right. Um, now I'm just gonna X out Firefox for a while. All right, so you can just X that out, X that out too. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go to where that uh, thing that says Minecraft server is. You want to here I'm gonna make a new folder because that one was already made up. So make a new folder. Mm, I'll just put MCS Minecraft server. Drag that in there. You don't have to make a folder, but I'd recommend you do it if you don't want files scattered all around your desktop. And you want to open that file up. All right, this is gonna take a little while in the first time. But every time, out, like every other time you start it up, though, it's going to be a lot faster. So, um, let's see. It's just it's going to be preparing spawn, which is like generating the world stuff. So you just want to wait for that. Uh, this is taking a mm, fairly long time, but who cares? Huh? Uh, it will be over before we know it. So, okay, it's so at seventy-seven percent, eighty-one percent, eighty-five. Gonna be done soon. Yay! All right. Let's see here. All right. Then you want to press. You want to type stop. Well, that's an honor. I'd recommend you do that. You're gonna need to open up your internet browser again. All right. This is a very important step if you want friends to be able to play with you. Just like the port forwarding was too. If you you gotta do that if you want friends to be able to play with you, or else you will only be able to play on your network. People on your network will only be able to play. Um. You want to go to what is my ip.com and then you want to uh, see what your IP is and then that's the IP you want to give your friends. You do not want to give your IPv4 address to your friends because it won't work for them. 
because uh, you got to use this one. See this one. But if you're if you're just playing on your network, you don't have to worry about port forwarding. But if you want friends to play, you got to port forward. But um, yeah. So, uh, this is the IP you want to give to your friends so they can get into your server. Just make sure you get that IP from whatismyip.com. And uh, let me access out. Froze up. <laughs> That's why task manager is my best friend sometimes. Alright, then you want to open up your Minecraft. This thing will freaking load. Open up. There we go. Minecraft. You want to open that up. Then you want to go to Minecraft server. You want to load your server up. Let's see here. Loading your server up. You just want to load your server up, alright? You're not going to be able to break anything, neither are your friends. So, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Once you get in your server, you're going to be like, What the hell? Why can't I break anything? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to you're going to want to go to multiplayer well obviously and then you're going to want to you're going to want to join your server once it starts up. Why would you piece of shit? <laughs> Sorry, my my server's being a bitch today. He's he's like he's being a bastard to everybody. He's like you know just like I don't even care. He's like I don't even care. All right, so what you want to do here is you want to um uh okay so actually. Alright, it's gonna be like, you're gonna be like, holy shit, why can't I break anything? Uh, holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. You're gonna be like, what the hell, why can't I break anything? So you're gonna be getting kinda pissed. Alright, so what you wanna do is you wanna open up your server thing. Alright, and you want to, uh, it has to be on this thing though. Alright, you're gonna wanna type in op, and then your username. And then you're gonna press enter. And then now, voila. Look what you can do. You can break shit. Yay! So, um, you can, now that you're op, you can op people from in game. So, uh, you just type in slash op and then their username, but you can still do it from the command thing if you want. It's up to you, really. It's up to you. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. And just like the video if you liked it and it helped you. And remember to favorite, comment, and subscribe. I need more subscribers and I'll have more videos and stuff if I get more subscribers. Make sure you like when you like this and stuff. Like you share it on Facebook and stuff and Twitter. If you can, that'd be really nice. Um, and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice evening.